don't talk to me about Lonnie anymore. Why? What's so wrong about Lonnie? You go on too much about him lately. He's this. He's that. I can really give a shit. You said I can have friends. Have friends. I'm not complaining about you having friends. I'm only asking for you to stop talking so much about Lonnie. But I don't understand why. Can I talk to you about what's going on in my life? Of course. You can. And I want you to. The same way I share things with you, but this Lonnie guy? Lately, all you do is talk about him. The guy is getting on my nerves, and I haven't even met him yet. Oh, stop. He's fine. You don't share things with me anyway, so... I do share things with you. All the time. That's not true. I always have to ask you to get anything out of me. So you saying, I don't talk and make conversation. I'm saying that whenever we see one another and you come back from whatever it is you're doing, you never have anything new to share with me. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right now, I got two dead bodies in the trunk of my car, sitting in the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> Go have a look. And we can talk about it. Here you go, baby. Sit down. Now we can talk. The two men that are dead in my trunk? Oh, those two men owed a friend of mine a load of money. And they haven't made good on their debt. And this friend of mine, whenever he's in a jam or needs something handled, he calls me up and I handle it for him. I'm what you call the handle. Hence my nickname, Handles. So, tell me more about Lonnie. I had no idea. Hey, listen. We've been going together now for what? Two years? If it's such a shock to you, why don't you go and tell Lonnie about it? Enough about Lonnie. Oh, I'm sure Lonnie can write up a song or two about the dead guys in the trunk. <laughs> How about that for a title? Please. I feel sick. Drink your drink. Baby, you can leave right now. We're fine. I know you won't say anything because you don't have a big mouth. But uh, this is what it is, so. And what are you going to do with the, the body? I'm going to feed them to the poor. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I haven't decided yet. No rush. It's cold outside, so the stink won't be as potent tomorrow. I figured let's sleep in, spend some time. We'll talk more, since that's what you want. And tomorrow I'll take care of it. I knew you were, like, I mean, like, I'm not stupid, but I never imagined you would do things in such a way like this. If it's fine. So ask me anything you want. I'll tell you about my work days. No, that's it. Are you that's sure? Are you sure? There's a funny story that happened the past Tuesday. With the guy's finger. No, no, that's all right. You, you okay now? We're okay. Okay. Well, 
Now that that's out the way, we can get back to square one. How was your day?